build. Now this settlement build I'm working on, or finished, uh, not quite finished, still underneath a little bit of construction, just a little bit. The rest of the construction that I'm going to be doing for this place will be uh, just aesthetics, like little things that I collect throughout the game. But um, I forgot to mention, this is a Tappington Boathouse. Yeah, let me check out the stream. Just want to see how well the revolution is. Okay, looks good. Alright, let's, let's head in. Uh, this is my Minuteman character, and this is my personal home here at Tappington Boathouse. Now, I did a lot with this one. It's not finished yet, like I said, but pretty much it is, it's finished, but I'm just going to fill it in with collectibles. So, uh, this is the entrance here. I added, like, some really cool hedges here. Pretty cool. My defense is right behind that, which can shoot right through the bush. And look, I got, like, some Yagways in here for defense. Look, that a girl. Got Brahmin seeds over here. It's pretty well lit. I'll show you a view of it at night. Um, so I guess I'll start off with the exterior. Yeah, let's start here. Uh, first thing first, I got a garden here. Uh, I don't have anything in there yet. I have another garden here. Dog meat's right there. Just chilling. I see you there. That's my, uh, my personal or like the power armor that I use the most. Let me just get this out of here before someone takes it. Um, okay. I don't really have anyone here. This is going to be a settlement that I'll pretty much, when I complete the game, I'll bring Sean back to. And whatever character I choose to romance with this guy. And I got cats here, too. Pretty nice. I got, like, an outdoor, like, little, uh, what do you call it? Like a bonfire, I guess. Kind of a warm area. Got these little oil lamps here. Keep you, like, you just hang out outside on the deck. While you look at the house from here. I'll show you what it looks like at night. It looks really cool at night. And I got these beta waves, uh, things going on, which helped me, uh, pacify the Yagwais. I have two of them. I don't know where the other one is at. She might be somewhere else. I don't know if they're actually female. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call the Yagwais, or her. Got trees I put in here. And I got this fence here. Now the mod, it cleaned up this place and it added green grass here and it added this, uh, wall here. But what I did, um, I added, like, these little hedges and I added this fence right here. I built it around. It's kind of a curved fence. If you can get up here and kind of look down. Yeah, it's like curving right over there. Took a while to figure that out, but I did. Oh, and up here I have my personal basketball court. I'm like, why not? Look, I'll show you guys. Uh, let's see. Take that out of there. And let's see if we can just shoot around a little bit. Let's see. Inventory. Let's go over the junk. I have fun doing this, though. I have a lot of fun doing this. Forget the button layout, the square? Yeah, square. Alright, cool. Now what I like to do is I like to jump and uh shoot it. <laughs> it's a weird it's weird. But it's, it makes it more fun that way for me. Damn. I don't know why. I could I could just stand there and shoot it, but I, I kinda wanna make it more difficult. Don't know why I gotta do that. See if I can get it right here. That's a good arc right there. God damn. Alright, let's grab that ball. I'm gonna put it all away. I hope I didn't lose it. I lost the ball like that earlier. Oh damn it. See, I lost the ball. Maybe I should... Oh, there it is. Maybe I should just build a, a higher wall. Uh, surprisingly, the Yagwais don't really mess with the cats. But yeah, I like to come up here, shoot around a little bit. I am going to build a higher wall. That happened a few times, and I think I lost another one. Was it like a kickball? But what's cool, I actually found a basketball. But I'm going to actually just start finding... When I go to vendors, I'm going to see if they have like any ba like basketballs or uh, kickballs. And I'll pick them up and bring them back here. Just from my court. Uh, so let's go more of the exterior. Uh, so over here, I think we just have more... Yeah, I think I was just showing you guys the hedges. And like how that's how that actually goes all around here this way got more lamps out here the lamps actually play a very like great role and you'll see that when um i'll show you all that at night time and they're like this firing area too so should we move no we should we, we still got exterior let's actually close that door you guys can't see in there yet not yet no all right so let's look out here on the deck right here we got like plants here on the deck i got like a little bottle of gasoline in a container i guess Is that yagwai running oh Whatever. Oh, I got a little bike here for Sean. Because I've gotten far enough in the game where I've met Kellogg. 
and I went into Kellogg's mind, and I seen that he did have a little boy with him. So my character that I'm role playing still has hope that Sean might come back. So that's in there. So let's keep going around the deck here. Right here we got like a nice view at the the lake that runs through here, I guess. A little life preserver. We got our uh, defense here. This is the actual functioning grill, so we can actually cook here. Cook out here on the deck, you know. And attached to our kitchen right here. Don't look in there though, you guys. Let me just close that door. I'm gonna show you guys the inside in a minute. Here's more of the outside. I got Swan right here. Um, yeah, I got a table that I couldn't delete. Now this mod that cleaned up this place, it also added a boat here. I utilized that boat by adding my um, generators here. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. Have a workout area so I can just work out here on the deck. I like I like the area. Like I like the view that you can get when you do it. I kind of want to turn it the other way because it always changes the camera view. And I kind of want to look at my uh, back of the town. It looks green. I like it. I forget how you take it off. There you go. Knock a few of them out. I got my strength up a little bit. Oh, I'm actually thirsty. Currently playing on survival mode. I, I, there's some, uh, what do you guys call those things? I can't think, amenities in the home. In a part of this mod that kind of utilizes or help you out when you're playing survival difficulty. I got a water pump here that's actually functioning. I can get purified water from that. So now I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the boathouse and how I actually, what I actually did with that. Um, so here, pretty much I'm going to be putting all my legendary or really cool unique weapons in here that I'll be getting throughout the game like named weapons and I'll, I'll put up more of the uh, display thing I'll probably fill up this whole room with weapons but I got pretty much all my crafting things uh, some are modded like uh, I think that's modded that's a mod workshop bench and that's a mod of course like ammunition um what else I got out here oh got my chemistry station put up a little uh some you know, just, uh, what do you call it, shelter? Got a bell here, so I can bring all my settlers back to one spot. Alright, so I think we're ready to move indoor now. Let's, oh shit, let's move indoors. <laughs> I don't know what happened right there. Alright, cool. So, welcome to, what is it, Covington Boathouse? So here I got, like, uh, some of that stuff from, um, the Cabot House. I can, I've been using these a lot for settlement, these little, these art pieces. Get away. Yeah, I've been using those art pieces a lot. Over here, I got a... What do you call these guys? Ragstag? I forget what that one is. Rabbit, I think? And here I got the freedom thing. Because uh, I'm not railroad. I told you guys I'm uh, Minutemen. But, you know, it's very historical to the area I live in. Like, this carrier is from Boston. What do you call them? Bostonians? Got an overdue book here. Got a small little boat. Kind of, Kind of going for a vibe here. You know, kind of going for something here. Oh shit, is he trying to knock his way through here? What's going on? Are they getting off the uh, deck? Get away, yeah, get away. You guys are scaring the cats out the house. The other cat, I think I have two cats and one dog. Dog Muse here, but he always hangs out in his dog house. Um, yeah, so I have this area thing going on. Of course, there's an upstairs here. Door restored, got like a nice plant. This is from the Creation Club, that little rug right there. You know, kind of, kind of creating a little vibe here. I don't know if you guys feel it. It's kind of old, but it's kind of like... I kind of wanted to make it very beachy in the inside. Like, kind of like a... A getaway home. So here's the room I'm still keeping hope for Sean. I got like a little lamp in here. Of course, got this bed. Of course, it's ventilated. I, I, I'm going to actually try to set up walls in here. But I got like him... An area for his uh, clothes. Area for his hamper. He has a bunch of toys around here. Board games. Yeah, little truck yes yeah, that's Sean's room and um, here's my living area my living room area got the nice couch with you know the grass and not the grass a uh, potted plant behind it it's nice little coffee table here you can actually use it as storage I got magazines I scattered all over it got a radio I'm playing got the TV that actually does work but it doesn't actually show anything but I have that nice picture here that's from the creation club I do love that view of Boston from here it looks really good. Like, it looks very detailed. I like this picture. Like, it looks detailed. I love it. And from here, you have a nice view at the the lake behind the house. Or river. I'm not sure what they actually call that. And, of course, I have a... What is it? Radiated? Rags tag? Yeah, in this room, I think I have all the rags... No, downstairs, I think that's where all the rags tags are. And that's all I've been catching so far. 
and I'll kind of get this character will say a lot about my player. Of course, he's a he's a trophy hunter, so I'm gonna actually be getting more things like that and bring. I'm gonna be probably pulling down pictures to like put up more of that stuff, the taxidermy stuff. So here we got my kitchen area. Yeah, I fully restored it. I have to do all this stuff piece by piece. The only thing that sucked is that this oven and stoves is not like a a functioning um what is that workshop or crafting thing. You can't actually use it. So what I did was actually just do some aesthetic things with it, like put a pot, tea kettle, put a little bowl here. But this one is work. I can function on this one. This one actually allows me to craft food, so that's cool. But what I did, I had to. Uh, I added this in, all that came together, except with the, uh, with this. This came from the Creation Club, I believe. I'm not sure if, or, or maybe it might have been a, um, a mod. I can't remember. But yeah, it's like a refridge that I can use as storage, which is cool. Because it looks like a refridge. And then I actually keep food in here, and it actually shows food here. It doesn't show my food, but it's food there, which is kind of cool. I like it. Kind of went with the red-blue mix in here in the kitchen. As you can see, I think there's a few other red things in here. Eh. Something else is supposed to be red, but I forgot. Uh, over here, I got a cooler where I keep all my beverages. I know you could probably keep them in there, but I like to keep my beverages and my food in two separate places. You know, got an area for coffee here. It's not the coffee area, but I'm just like a little storage area. Uh, I got vault tag boxes. You know, I got food from there. And of course, we got the donut mod from the, uh, the uh, what is that place called? Uh, Slocum Joe's. Slocum Joe's Donut Shop. We got the... Uh, cappuccino right there and we got us a chocolate bar donut yeah you know we got food over here mylar cake it's nice and over here at the table we got like of course a bowl a, a box of sugar bomb some brahmin milk a little spoon fork you know getting ready to eat got a cappuccino right there you know got a quantum donut right there look at that powder donut what is that a patriot donut what is, it? What is their name for it oh glory okay nice got a coffee station here right now this is my placeholder because I planned it all on putting a um the donut station here fried donuts but yeah this is a this is my kitchen area oh yeah I have a coffee I mean not a coffee a, a soda machine here got more paintings here nice little rugs I really like kind of try to fill it all out like make it look like very immersive like it's actually lived in got like magazines here you got your donut in here you know it's kind of cool I like it. It's very cool. Oh, and over here, I also have more alcohol. I have alcohol and I have that, that kettle. Okay, so I think we should move upstairs. Yeah, and this is just the back door to show you to the deck. Brings you back out here. Kind of went over this area. Alright, so now we can uh, move upstairs. And I'll show you what it looks like at nighttime, the whole place. It looks very interesting at night. I love it. So up here, so this is a part of my role play. This character is a comic book, like, pop culture, like, nerd. So up here, I kind of have, like, here's my whole nerdy area where I keep, like, my figures and action figures and, like, robot toys and all that shit. And I have, like, a Creation Club power armor, which is a Giddy Up Buttercup power armor. It's pretty cool. Like, it looks very, like, like it will belong, like, in, like, a guy's man cave that's into, like, comic books and video games and figures. Got a little radio playing put lights down here too so that it would illuminate this i have a codworth like mint condition mr handy box like you know i have all these magazine uh promotional pictures up too i kind of have a magazine rack i'm gonna actually i'm gonna look for more comic books i'm gonna remove these because i actually realized like oh yeah these aren't actually comic books let me actually take them but yeah i only want to have comic books on this whole stand here and here's more creation club stuff these are actually functional and working arcades yeah, like, they they actually, like, you can actually play it. I'm like, it's the same game, though, for, like, the Pit Boys. Except, you know, you can actually play on it without the Pit Boy game. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, let's get out of that. Oh, no, get me out of here. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Man, this is, this is like a role-playing game where you play as a Grognek, like Zelda. It's kind of cool. And over here, I'm going to put up all my uh, costumes. Of course, over here, I'm going to do uh, the Silver Shroud. I'm going to do Grognek on that one. It's going to be cool for the whole man cave. Look at the cool light up here. This is what I want to show you this place at night, the green lighting up there. I'm going to put, like, a really cool, like, wacky display gun up in here. It's probably going to be, like, some special weapon I get throughout the game, but I know I want to put something very special in this room. It might be a laser weapon. 
I don't know yet. It could, yeah, a laser weapon will work perfectly, like, in this place. And, uh, let's show you my bedroom. And I have my actual vault tech population thing so I can manage my settlers. I'm not going to have settlers here. Like I said, I'm going to just, whatever the one character that I romance, this is the character. That's, that's who's going to live here. What the hell? I think the cat just walked in the house. But, oh, yeah, we got my dresser right here. I got a hamper here. Uh, a little hat there. Special books. This is more like comic book stuff. You know, I got a little candle over here. This is actually where I keep my clothing at. Like, a few of my clothing items that I, you know, want to keep around that are, like, kind of unique to me. Um, that, yeah. What is that? A chimney. I want to say chimney. No, it's a fireplace. Yeah, I got a fireplace. Got, this is the rug from the Creation Club. This is, and this black one is as well. They look kind of cool in here. Tried to make it like a thing. I don't know who that chick is, but uh, it's a cool picture. It kind of worked in here. Got like uh, got a hidden cap under the bed right there. This potted plant. I'm gonna put my weapons in here. That's where I'm gonna store them at. Nice picture up here. Just store ammo. Jet right there. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but throughout the game, when I collect things, I'm gonna just collect them and put them in the home. Got a backpack down there. That's from the Creation Club. I think I have one on now. Yeah, I got a Minuteman bag on now. And, oh yeah, let's show you the restroom. This is the master restroom. This is the only restroom, actually. This is actually where I keep my drugs at. Yeah, just keep, or yeah, my medicine in the first aid kit. Yeah, everything kind of works for uh, when you're playing in survival mode. Like, everything that I have set up in this house. These things are functional. I can actually hydrate myself from this. And it's actually pure, purified water, so I won't get rats from it. The same thing with uh, the one downstairs in the kitchen. And you can see, like, the... The Yagwa's downstairs. They're just down there patrolling. You gotta respect that. Um, and yeah, we got like little things up here. I got the, uh, what is that thing called? Uh, I can't remember it. It's a beacon. Something. Yeah, I got ammo in the bathroom. Toilet here. There's actually an invisible, uh, what is that thing called? Uh, mat. It's an invisible mat there. So, so someone will sit down on the toilet. Well, my, uh, partner will. Got that. Yeah. Kind of cool in here. And now that it's nighttime, what time is it? Let's see if we can get it darker. Or is this the darkest it's going to get? 7 p.m. Um, we can wait one hour. It's still blue out in the sky. I want to make sure it's dark. Let's see. Three hours. For sure it's going to still be just like the dead of night. Nine o'clock. Hell yeah. Let's have a look out. Yeah. Yeah, now it's nighttime. All right, let's have a look at how the place looks at night. Now, what's weird about the Yagwais, at nighttime, they end up on the, uh, they're here. For some reason, they hang out on their deck. For some reason. But during the day, they actually hang out over here, right around. But yeah, this is what the place looks like at night. Kind of gives you the overview of what's going on in my yard. That cool hedges and everything, so you a cool view from here. Kind of looks cool when you walk here at night. How the trees, like, they, uh, shade you. From everything yeah I might put I might put some chairs in here or like a, a bench in here yeah it looks very cool yeah it's very illuminated we got the nice warm cozy intimate area over here the little oil lamps yeah it looks nice got our cats now the character I'm thinking of marrying with this character I'm thinking of Piper of marrying her with him I'm actually going to try this again. You can see that it's, it's, you can focus actually on the basketball more at night. It's like less like things happening. The, the court is just illuminated. Maybe right there. God damn it. <laughs> I keep throwing it over. Alright, I'm going to just throw it up in the thing again. I'm not going to try again. Yeah, one more time. Let's try one more time. Right there. Nice. Oh, shit. How did that happen? Alright, one more time. One more time. One time for good luck. Damn it. See, I think I hold it too long. Right, I'm gonna just store it back upstairs and see what the inside looks like at nighttime. What what it looks like from the inside looking out. 
I'm going to just store the basketball back in here. Uh, store. There we are. Oh, yeah, and I, yeah, this is the back entrance. It's not really much out here. You could just enter in from this way. I wonder how it looks from this way. Yeah, I never open this gate. I just never use it. Alright, yeah, it looks good out here. Yeah, we got a nice, cozy, intimate area. I, I was assuming that this area will be lit a little bit more, just with warmer lights, but I guess I'm cool with that. It's, it's lit up enough. Because that area over here, like, it does bring a lot of lights oh, off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's up, Johnny Dead Guy? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks good in here. All right, let's check out the inside. Yeah, look at the Yagwais. Crazy girl. Um, yeah, it looks good at night. Like, things are way more illuminated. You can focus in more in the details at night, too. Yeah, more the colors stand out a bit more. They pop. Yeah, I'm into it. What is that noise, though? I think I'm hearing the water outside. I'm thinking, like, I didn't see it raining. Yeah, this looks really good. See out the front door here. You know, nothing's really going on right now. During the day, though, you'll see like, um, where are they? Caravanners coming through? That might be one now. Oh, that's a cat. Never mind. Looks cool. You've been busy, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, working away at this place. I'm, I'm really into it. This is going to be my personal character home because I tried to live in Diamond City, but some weird glitch kept happening. And I was trying to find another personal home for my character. Like something I can find that's very cozy. You know, and compact. And I was like, oh, the boathouse. It's big enough. It's, it's a little, it's way bigger than um, actual, the, uh, that room you get. So I was like, I can actually work with this. And I get a big front yard. I can figure out things to do with that. Now the only thing is, um, trying to find out who I'm going to romance and marry to bring back here. But I'm into it. And I actually have a... It, the mod I have here, it rebuilt the place. So you're not going to actually get sick from sleeping here. You're, like, you're not going to get parasites. Like It's not going to be a high percentage of you getting sick from here. So it's kind of cool. Now that you have like fleshed out ceilings and everything. And we got dog meat here. I'm thinking about maybe I should bring codwars here too. Because I'm going to act, I'm going to, I'm going to bring Divas here. And I'm going to bring, that Divas is like the lemonade bot. And I'm going to bring that boozer bot here, too. So I'm thinking I might want to bring dog... I mean, not dog, me codwars here, too. Just kind of have all these servants around here. As, like, the general of the minute, man. Like, I should be living large. Like, this should be my place. Like, and if anybody want to run up... We don't got, like, Minutemen soldiers, but we got, like, some Yagwais. I'm thinking about getting a few more Yagwais. Maybe a Deathclaw. I had a Deathclaw before, but when the Deathclaw the walk... They vibrate the ground too much. So when you're just in your home, like, you're just like, God damn, Deathclaw. Like, these, they walk a little bit lighter. Except when they're charging at you. That's when they, get, that's when they shake the ground. But I'm thinking, yeah, I might get, I might get a rat scorpion. That'd be a cool pet. No, I think I might stay with the Yagwais. Look at the Yagwais. They're so passive. Ain't that right, girl. Yeah, they're big and stupid. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really liking the house, though. I gotta put up more taxidermy, too. Oh, I never seen how his room looked at night. Oh, this lamp does light up the room a lot. The whole room is lit up pretty well. Some shadowy areas. Is one of them outside the fence? I think he is. Yeah, like, nice little bunk bed for the kid whenever I find him. I gotta, I gotta rescue the kid first. <laughs> But yeah, I'm into it. It's kind of giving. Oh yeah, let me show you guys what's happening at the inside the boathouse. Just a big crafting area. There's a boat up there. I got some um, water over here that I'm purifying. I put cement blocks here so I wouldn't accidentally fall in there. I'm gonna put up more weapons in here, more like legendary or like unique looking weapons from all the DLCs. I'm gonna. This room is probably gonna be filled up. Like, it's going to be from wall to wall. Like, every inch of it is going to be filled with weapons. But right now, I'm just kind of putting the outline. But, you know, the more I do in the game, the more I collect, the more I will have in this room to fill up. It'll be like a trophy room, too. Yeah, I'm going to be into this place. 
the thing is I gotta do more in the game so that I can actually fill out things. It's pretty filled out now, but I kind of feel like I built a really good foundation because I left a lot of shelves like bare because I want to put things in places like here on my dresser. I left a lot of room here for unique things. I have this area here. I want to put up some things I collect in the game that. Of course, these are the other things, the actual robots. I want to have these action figures here. And these guys, the Wild Boys, those are pretty cool. All the comic books. So I kind of have a, a few little areas to collect some things. I'm actually going to, when I stream this game, I'm going to get, be getting these two costumes. Which is uh, the Silver Shroud and Grognag. For like my man cave. Yeah, oh listen to this armor, listen to this. This is so cool. You guys probably seen it before, but this is the uh, Giddy Up Buttercup Power Armor. It came with the Creation Club. But I was listen to this. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did all that just to do that. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I never used this power armor, so I never I upgraded it a little bit, but I really just kept it for visually. When I play my other character that's going to be a raider, I might actually use this one. Right now, currently, the power armor I'm using with this character is... Where is that? Oh, here we are. It's the Hellfire. Yeah, this came with the Creation Club, too. I might repaint it pretty soon, but right now, this has kind of been my power armor. I use it like a vehicle. I just fly around and get to places, then I get out of it when I get to a building and go in there. Yeah... Looks good at night. It's more lit than I thought it would be. Swan. It's alright, girl. What is the cat doing over here? The cat's gonna get stomped on. Right, I'm gonna try to shoot a basket again one more time. I gotta make it before the stream go off. On before I end the stream. Alright, let's see. Alright, I could do it. I could do this. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> I definitely have to build a taller wall. This happened way too many times. Oh shit. This happened last time. I lost the ball. I don't know where it went. I had a, a kickball. Like, what the hell? Alright, I gotta just tap square. Cause I like jumping when I do it. It makes it a little bit harder. Oh! I don't know, it makes it a little bit harder. It makes it a little bit more realistic when you jump with it too. I can hold it a little bit longer. Alright. Alright, right there. Right there. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I, I should just shoot it up straight on. Oh shit, where are they going? Alright, right there. God damn it! Yeah, I gotta build a higher glass wall. I should actually do that on stream right now, just kinda correct that. Man, where did the ball go? There we are. It always goes over here. God damn it. <laughs> just be like Mike, yeah, if you, you just can't miss it. Alright, I'm gonna knock down these walls. This is actually from the, uh, another crew, uh, this is actually from, what was that shit, uh, the season pass, where I got these glass walls from. I kind of like these glass walls because they, they have holes in it, so it allows you to shoot through it. I can leave that alone. All right, uh, it's in here. Is it here? No, I think it's in the mods. It's definitely in the mods. Here, here. Uh, which one is it though? Here? Ah, no, I don't think they did it through the mods. Clever, clever. See, I can't, that's, that's the weird thing about the mods. You have to refigure out how to navigate it again. Cause they change things around. Is that the right one? Yeah, warehouse. There we are. Found it. There we go. 
Now I can get like the small glass walls, or I can get the really big ones. Let's see, there should be, it's right here. Oh, I can get it with the holes in it. Yeah, let's go for this, but I do like these a lot better. You know, I just build them up higher then. Yeah, that's, that's it. I can't go any higher than that. Oh, this one never went out there. Oh, why can't it do that? Oh, that is weird. It's on the inside. Why is it on the inside? That is weird. Oh, that is just weird, so I can't go any higher than that. Let's move this. I think that's the reason. Alright. Now can we? There we are. Yeah, I just need that to be higher. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is the court right here. Oh, so they all just go in like that, really? No, those are pretty flush. I think if you just get one off, they're all gonna be off. I think they have to at some point. Are they trying to get to each other? Oh, that's so cute. Can I shoot through this? I don't wanna shoot. If I shoot it, they're gonna attack me. How do I know what I can hit? Whatever. Let's try this again. Drop it. Alright, this is it. It's for the stream right here. Nice. Yeah, this, this is how we do it now. See, now I can do it. Oh, I'm holding it way too long. I gotta hold it for a little bit less time. See, now I can perfect the shot now. Uh, right there. Ah. Damn it. Alright, last time, last time. If I don't make it, I don't make it. <laughs> Oh shit! Yes! 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 I did it! God damn it, let me put the ball away before I lose it. Sometimes the ball just falls through the ground and you can't find it ever again. Which is why I have this locker. So, every time I find a ball, or I'll buy one, I'm just gonna put him in here. Uh, store it. There we are. Yeah. And, that's it! Yeah, yeah, you've seen it, you've seen that, man. But, alright, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back on the stream, but that's uh, Tappington Boathouse. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, yada yada yada, all that good stuff.